Hello and welcome. Today we are going to look at the lyrics to Yellow Submarine by the Beatles. Now in a lyric analysis what I'm interested in is kind of the rhythm of the words, how they flow without the music, and also how they fit in with the music. I'm also interested in looking at the vowels and the rhymes in the piece to see how those all kind of fit together as well. So with that, let's go ahead and dive right on in. I'm Dr. Zach, grab a cup of tea and join me. Okay, so the reason I wanted to look at this song today is because the words really flow well. Now there are examples like in the Hamilton song that we looked at, the words have a flow, but what's really holding that together is the vowel sounds and all the internal rhymes. And so between that and, and trying to fit the words in with the beat, it you know, like works really well. But there's some kind of inconsistencies if you just take the words by themselves. There's also a lot of inconsistencies in the lyrics we saw by Olivia Rodrigo. Again, the music is really helping to kind of iron out these inconsistencies with the words, but I still find it's very interesting to see how the words would sound without music, right? So in this case, we have our first verse here. In the town where I was born lived a man who sailed to sea. And he told us of his life in the land of submarines. So we sailed on to the sun till we found a sea of green. And we lived beneath the waves in our yellow submarine. So see that whole time, the like strong, weak, strong, weak kind of emphasis works the whole way through the verse. It's really incredible, right? And this is why I think makes this verse really work because the rhymes aren't actually too strong. We are kind of rhyming the second line of, of each of these. So in the town where I was born, that's line one, lived a man who sailed to sea. Then we skip down in the land of submarines, right? In that last syllable of submarine, we get that kind of E vowel from C. So Again, not a strong rhyme, but that's kind of the connection. And then two lines down, we get C of green. There's that E vowel again, and then submarine. Green and submarine, much stronger rhyme, right? But those are the kind of the only things that are holding the rhyme structure together. And then the rhythm of the words is super tight, right? There's no discrepancies there, works really well. So again, I wanted to show this because there are popular songs that people know that have this kind of structure, right? So while it's easy to kind of manipulate your words to get the flow that you need with the music, it's kind of, to me, it seems like that next level to manipulate the words so they work well on their own as well with the music. That's what I'm kind of interested in doing when I am writing a song. So then we get to the chorus. We all live in a yellow submarine. So here, we have our first discrepancy. If we take out the word A before yellow, we would have the same kind of rhythm of the words as before. We all live in yellow submarine, right? But then that makes it like grammatically incorrect. So we have that little a yellow submarine. If you notice, it comes right, right like the fraction before the word yellow. We all live in a yellow submarine, right? And I think that is because it, it kind of like is disrupting the flow from what we have before. So a couple of things. One, I think this provides a nice variety. It also provides a little bit more like a push in this chorus. So that like, that's all very nice. I, I don't think having the discrepancy here is like a bad thing, but it's just kind of something to note, right? That this is the first time that we've had something kind of different with the rhythm of the words. So let's look at verse two here. And our friends are all aboard, many more of them live next door. Okay, so here that second line, again, some discrepancies, and the band begins to play. So ex with the exception of that second line, all of that works, right? So that could be a couple of things. We could have like, again, a little bit of variety with that second line, where instead of always that strong weak pattern, now we have something that is a little bit different. Also, it is a bit of a stronger rhyme here. All aboard, 
Many more of them live next door. So we're rhyming those first two lines instead of doing kind of the every other rhyme from before. Also kind of interesting to note that this verse is like half the length of the other verses. So that kind of like provides a little bit of variety on its own, right? So we have some different lengths of verses in this song. And we get the chorus again, nothing new there. Then after the chorus, we get something that would be kind of like where a bridge would be, but it's just like all these noises that would be found like kind of natively on a submarine. And this is interesting because it wasn't always the case that you would do something like this, right? And even if you were thinking about writing a song, you might think, okay, I need guitar, bass, drums, keyboard. You write out all those parts, you create your song, bada bing, bada boom, it's done. But what about incorporating like a real world, a real life kind of sound into your song? How would you do that? Why would you choose the sound that you chose? Like these kinds of things, right? Can, can really add an extra dimension, an extra kind of layer to your song. Such as in uh, Olivia Rodrigo's piece, uh, Driver's License, it starts with a car beeping like the doors open and then that beep goes into the piano, right? So that was a really cool way to use like a real world sound in the context of a popular song. So then we get our last verse here. This one, again, let's just listen to that rhythm, that strong weak pattern that's been established. As we live a life of ease, every one of us has all we need. Sky of blue and sea of green, in our yellow submarine, right? Works perfectly. And then we're back to this kind of rhyming every other line, but instead of rhyming the second line, we're actually rhyming the first one. As we live a life of ease, every one of us has all we need, sky of blue and sea of green, in our yellow submarine, right? And I said we're rhyming every other one, but really these are kind of one line. As we live a life of ease, Every one of us has all we need. That's where I kind of feel the line ending. Sky of blue and sea of green in our yellow submarine. So if you look at it that way, you see that we're actually rhyming now every single end line, which is a departure from what we've had before. So this actually makes this last verse kind of stand out, not to mention we have the echoes going on in here, which again, it provides that additional variety. And so in a way, I think this last verse is the strongest because we have that consistent rhythm of the words. We have those end rhymes, but the end rhymes are kind of hidden because we have the echoes. So like it's really well crafted and well done. And then at the end, we get the chorus, but we get it twice. Uh, that's a nice way to signal the end of the song, right? It's just kind of repeating the chorus. And that's that's kind of the end. So in general, like I think this piece has some great construction to it, right? We get that variety by having half a verse kind of by that second verse and then we have the strongest verse kind of coming at the end with all those end rhymes and those little deviations that we see in the rhythm of the words doesn't like feel out of place right the music of course helps that along but we get that you know we all live in yellow submarine right that would be without the uh we all live in a yellow submarine. So there the rhythm of the words, I think kind of dictated the rhythm of the music there, that we had that really quick kind of pickup note into yellow submarine. So even with this, I mean, you might see it as like a constraint of strong, weak, strong, weak pattern the whole way through, the rhythm, right, is, is different between the verse and the chorus. In the verse, it's much more stretched out, in the town where I was born, right? That's nice and kind of open. And then when we get to the chorus, we all live in a yellow submarine. It's much more active, much more rolling along, right? So even though we had this really consistent rhythm of the words, we're still able to play with that within the music. And I actually think it can open up some opportunities. Like we saw how with the a yellow, right? That kind of dictated the rhythm of the music. So if we have that consistent rhythm in the words, we could actually use the rhythm of the music to like emphasize some of the that pattern or de-emphasize it, or we can, I feel like, play with, with it a lot more because we aren't so concerned about fitting the words in with the music. The words kind of stand on their own and the music can take over and you can be very expressive that way. So that's all for today. This is kind of a short song, a very straightforward, and I just wanted to kind of point out how 
using like a very consistent rhythm of the words can be really effective. So I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.